Every year, college basketball teams around the country take their final regular season home game to honor its seniors. And the women's basketball team here at the University of Miami, well, they have a big task on hand as they look to celebrate three extraordinary young women and the direct impact they've had on the program's success. I've never seen three players claim something more than these three did because it was their hard work and it was their effort and it's theirs and it's their program and the coaches are here to facilitate their success. I'm here to help them if they're not playing up to their standards, but I'm not here to berate them or tell them they're terrible. I mean, I know they want it and these three have shown every day in practice that they want it. They have big goals. They want this program to be great, so I don't fight them at all. I'll point out, hey, you'd be better off if you did your left hand a little bit more or cut your dribbles out of your game or box out some more still. Cause, but the bottom line is I never questioned whether they wanted it to be a top five program or whether they wanted special things for themselves here at Miami because they demonstrated that to me early. It is their program. When she got here, we immediately recognized her instincts were so special. And we just wanted her to be making a lot of decisions with us. And that's why our offensive system allows us to think through our guards a lot. And so she could handle the ball as much as she was capable of and eventually has evolved into someone who can play the point guard position as well as anyone in the country. Also play the two, the three, the four. You know, there's times where with this season with some of our injuries and stuff, we, she's played a lot of four back to her high school position. But... Um, just an incredible all-around player, unbelievable vision, and um, really has worked on her perimeter skills. What the hardest thing was, of course, is it's the first thing you have to break through when you're a freshman is conditioning. She had put herself very far behind the eight ball. So, um, you know, the fitness test and her did not get along. And I think um, once Bebe does achieve something, though, she will never go backwards. And the minute she saw what condition he could do for her game, she has never gone backwards. And she has been very committed to it and is one of the fastest, most explosive players in the country. We've had a lot of opportunities for Shanice Johnson and Raquana Williams to get standing ovations and applause and everything else. But this senior night to me is about Sylvia Bullock. Um, she doesn't have 2,000 points. The other two do. I heard something the other day that she has more rebounds in her career than points. And you just go, what a great kid. You know, what does that tell you? Uh, she's doing all the dirty work. She's led us in charges taken every year. And we need to stand up and just get on our, you know, toes and celebrate how she's transformed this program. She's been a captain since she's a sophomore, which is unheard of, especially when you're not the leading scorer, you're not the best supposed player or whatever, and then they vote you captain. That shows that you got strength. And I have three incredibly different relationships with the three of them. So does my staff. But golly, fun to be around. They're just awesome, and I'm so proud of them, and I'm so happy. But they went out there for me. You know, they risked it. They chose Miami, and they had plenty of other choices, and certainly more winning, you know, in the past, or in the recent past than other schools than Miami had. And they just believed in me, and, and um, you know, that's real personal, and, and I really I thank them for it, and it's been a heck of a ride. The uh, opportunity to, to see them play their final game, and not just the seniors, but this team. I mean, we're a special team. We've done a lot this year with a ton of pressure on us, and I think it's been remarkable to still play with energy, to still have fun, to still see the passion in our game when the expectations are there. It was easy last year when we were hunting people and we were surprising people, but now everybody put everything on us and tried to ruin us, and it just hasn't happened. We've stayed positive. We stayed fresh. Uh, we love to play. And we love to share the experience with our crowd. So, you know, don't miss the opportunity to come out and see our final home game. It'll, it'll be a wild ride. It'll be a lot of fun. The University of Miami is offering free admission to the senior game, which is this Sunday. Tip-off is at 1 p.m. right here in the Bank United Center against Boston College. So make sure you get out because it's going to be your last chance to see one of the best teams in the country on their home court. I'm Amy Onward, and on behalf of everyone here at HurricaneSports.com, we look forward to seeing you there.